Next stop in the Castrol GTX Cup Series, the next to the last stop, I should say, is Phoenix International Raceway for the running of the Subway Fresh Fit 500. It's going to be a great race here today at Phoenix on the pole for today's event. It's Charles Jackson in car number 8. <coughs> the Snickers Buick alongside of him, Leo Walker in the 29, row 2. The championship leader, Jasmine Acosta in the 7. And the 2 of Johnny Gardner, row 3. Adrian Becker in the 11 and the 9 of Nick Baxter. Then it's Zed Weinstein, a home race for him in the 70. Alongside of him, Keith Batson in the 28 and row number four, 5. Has... Mike Becker in the 15 and the 6th of Jeremy Stegall. And here comes the command to fire him up here today at Phoenix. Drivers, start your engines. And give him the fire of the engines. Uh, next row down is Joshua Osborne in starter number 6. Alongside of him is the 90 of Mitchell Jones. And here comes the field rolling off on the Race track right now. Last two, the last two weekends were uh, triple headers. By the way, we had trucks nationwide and cup all at Phoenix. We'll have trucks nationwide and cup and a triple header at Homestead, the season finale for Ford Championship weekend. In fact, the nationwide series championship has already been clinched. So here we. Green flag waves and here we go at Phoenix. Charles Jackson out in front, number eight, the Snickers Buick. It's a 1990 model Buick he's driving. Jasmine Acosta trying inside of Johnny Gardner for the number three position. Inside of Leo Walker now for second. Jasmine, as I said, is our points leader. That's why we've been talking a lot about her lately. It's been, it was a wreck fest in Nationwide and Trucks. And yet we're already It was Cole Moore looked like in the 30 car that crashed. I first I can see what caused the yellow flag. Yet yeah, there it is. Coming off of corner number four, they come. Let's see. Cole Moore, Cole Moore hit the wall. Dalton Day, he spun. And yeah, Cole got hit from behind by Aaron Williams and then Theo Stegall on the five. Or winner in Atlanta. And then Cole Moore sends, goes into a slide and backs his Penzol Pontiac into the wall. There's Dalton Day. He spun. Looks like a simple spin for him. Yeah, he and Cody Lamas. In the 94, and there's the... Nope. Trent Dunham hit the wall and, hit and turns right into Dalton Day. And I think Dalton's car farted. Okay. And Dylan Poteet's falling out of race now with a header problem, so that's the latest for him. And Johnny Gardner... Out of the race two because of a crash as well. So must have been more cars involved in the crash than we saw. <clears throat> so, but yeah, Johnny Gardner's out of the race now, and so is Don Poteet. And Dylan had just entered the top 20 in points as well. Here comes Adrian Becker in the 11 car. She dies inside of Charles Jackson for the lead. She's got it. And Jeremy Stegall goes by Jasmine Acosta for position. Jasmine up high now. As she hits the wall, or so does Jeremy Stegall in a six. Now Jasmine dives back inside. She's as on the back bumper goes the 15 of Adrian of uh, Mike Becker. Mike Becker in the 15 car, he's right up there. So is Nick Baxter in the 9. Charles Jackson in the 8. Keith Batson in the 28. And oh, Keith and Charles both slam the wall hard. And Jasmine back at the racetrack now. So 
So Jeremy Stegall knows in the second position now, right behind the leader, Adrian Becker. Car number 11, the Budweiser Chevrolet, or Budweiser Ford, excuse me. For Junior Johnson is Adrian. Yep. Jeremy Stegall still doing a little wall scraping right there. Oh, trouble. Dylan Young smoking bad. And Jeffrey Fingo looks like he got all scraped up too in a 12 car. Ooh, this one looked like an accordion that coming out of turn number four. I don't know if Aaron Williams hit the wall. Yes, he did. Cody Lomas hit the wall. Sent him in the Trent Dunham. Dalton Day bumps into Jeffrey Finn guy, so it spins Jeffrey around. Ah, but it appears somebody spun right in front of him. It was Dion Scott in the four and the 52 of Sean Henley that uh, spun. And so does Zed Weinstein and Rush Gardner. And Rush got turned around by Jonathan Ramey in the 42. And by the same time, Dion Scott spun too. He got tipped from behind by Zed Weinstein. Zed spins as well. And Sean Henley and Cole Moore, they crash as well. I've heard a synchronized spin, but this is ridiculous. Oh, ugh. Trent Dunham hard in the cold in the Dion Scott. On board with Trent Dunham in the one car. Hits the wall and oh crap. Trent probably saw the four car Cole Moore and thought, what happened? <sighs> but at the moment, it's Adrian Becker, number 11, out in front, leading the way here at, at um, Phoenix as we are 13 in the books out of 32 laps and we're green flag ways. And boy, Adrian Becker took off like John Force on that start. So try to get away from the lap car, Dalton Day. Jeremy Stegall runs in second position at sixth car. Nick Baxter and Mike Becker battling for third. Jasmine Acosta runs fifth at the moment, or, or points later. And Keith Batson cutting right in front of Dalton Day. Oh, Charles Jackson's around! Charles Jackson saved it. Jeez. Some messy racing going on here at Phoenix, that's for sure. Adrian Becker out in front of the 11 car, still leading the race here. Come on to complete 15 laps. 17 to go, so we're almost halfway through here at Phoenix. Keith Batson going by Jasmine Acosta. And now the yellow flies here at Phoenix. It was Cole Dally in the 10, I believe it spun. Let's check out what happened to Cole Dally. Went off in the turn number one. He was three right between between Dylan Young in the 55 and Sam Young in the 26. The Young brothers. And Dylan just blatantly turns Cole Dylan in the wall. And Batson hits him two in the three car. And Cole just starts spinning around. And then the wall he goes. But...
so with so the green flag will be waving again on with 20 laps in the books. We'll have 12 laps to go at Phoenix. Adrian Becker, car number 11, out in front. Second place right now belonging to Dalton Day. Or uh, Dalton Day is actually a lap down. Excuse me on that. And here we go again here at Phoenix. Adrian Becker again jumps out in front. In the second now goes again Jeremy Stegall. Mike Becker in third. Fourth place now. Trying for fourth is Keith Batson. As he tries to follow Dalton Day. Jasmine Acosta stuck up high in a seven car. Uh oh, this ain't going to be looking good for Dalton Day. And Red Bell's crashed! Oh my god! Flip. So is so is Dion Scott. Theo Stegall's crashed. Pichu London's got some damage. And Adrian Becker wins the race back to the start finish line with ten laps to go. Shh. Are we gonna have anybody left in this race? What the heck? Phoenix has been an absolute total demolition derby for sure. Look at Joshua Osborne's car. He's a little scraped up a little bit. He's running seventh right now. Even though all, all scraped up and beat. And Cole Moore spun again in the 30. Well, no time like the present to look at the replay again. This is caution, I believe, number four. Four, I think. I'm not sure. I think I lost count after about two. I don't know what the heck. But. And yeah, Red Bell shoves Leia Walker into the wall. And Jasmine actually got turned sideways, but didn't get. Ooh, Dylan Young, he gets hit hard by Charles Jackson. Or not Charles Jackson, but Jack Richards. And Cole Moore got flipped over by Trent Dunham, and so did Deion Scott. Oh, and Cole Moore about flipped again in the 30. And Red Bell's car's... What the heck's vibrating or whatever? Yeah, yeah, Cole Moore's smoking bad. Fasten your seatbelts, everybody. Let's go on board with Cole Moore. Fasten your seatbelts, everybody. And now let's go on board and flip over again, this time with Dion Scott in the four car. And again, fasten your seatbelts on this one. He's way off the pace here at this point of the track. And that did it for Cole, for Dion Scott. No, Dion Scott's still racing. What the heck? Green fag back out again here. Adrian Becker out in front here at Phoenix. As we have six laps to go in the event now. In the, in the Subway Fresh Fit 500. His son, her son Mike Becker might, might, might make it a... Uh, one, two, Becker family finish if that Mike can hold on the rest of the pack here. Jeremy Seagull hits the wall coming out of turn number four. And for once we make it under one green flag, we haven't lap without even a crash. Oh, spoke too soon. Zed Weinstein's crash. So has Cody Lamas. And oh, Ann Batson's smoking very bad in that three car. See a little smoke coming into the cockpit of, a of Ann's car. Tie sheets. He's damaged up. And it'll be Adrian Becker winning the race back to the start finish line. 
And I believe it was Dylan Young again. I see Ty Sheets. He's all badly damaged up. Yeah, Ty Sheets got turned by Justin Williams for no reason. Leia Walker, she crashes as well. Ooh, yeah, and Batson hit Ty very hard. Zed Weinstein, or the home state favorite, he's in the crash as well. So is Cody Lamas, Dylan Young. Oh, poor Ann Batson, I forget. She's had a rough second half of the season for sure, not by her standards. On board with Ann Batson. And Anne's slowly dying engine finally gives up the ghost. But that's going to end the race here today. And ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever in the series, mother and son, one and two, here today. That's for the first time ever in the Casual Kick Cup Series. Adrian Becker is going to be your winner of the Subway Fresh Fit 500. And right behind her in second, her son, Mike Becker finishes second. MMB Motorsports, awesome day for their Fords. Here, Mike Becker, a good day for him. So second place finish for him. But the day is all about Adrian Becker, the number 11 Budweiser Ford, as she brings the car to victory lane. And there it is. Adrian Becker wins the race here today. And look at that. Mother and son, top two. What a moment. We saw a family finish before with the Batsons of, Aunt, of Keith, Ann and Keith. Keith won race that day and Ann finished second at Charlotte uh, last season. But there's the finishing order, final finishing order. Average speed 67.209 miles an hour. The Beckers, Adrian and Mike, the top two here today. Uh, Nick Baxter comes on third. Cameron Gilson fourth. Keith Batson finishes fifth. Joshua Osborne, an awesome run for him, finishes sixth. Ryan Cooper, Jeremy Stegall, Justin Williams, Jasmine Acosta escapes with a top ten finish for her. Jonathan Ramey, Rush Gardner, Leah Walker, Chris Darton, Aaron Williams, Jeffrey Fingai, Charles Jackson, Sam Young, Mitchell Jones, Pichu Lennon in the top twenty. Ann Batson's crash knocked her out of the race with a piston problem, so the engine did die on Ann. 26th position. Tie sheets with a hair problem, 27th. Jack Richards out with a crash in 28th. So, so is Red Bell, 29th. Trent Dunham in 30th. Cole Moore, 31st. Dale Kislowski, 32nd. Theo Stegall, 33rd. Uh, Cole Daly, 34th. Sean Henley, 35th. All because of crashes. Johnny Gardner because of a crash. And Don Pote with a header problem. Comes home 36th. So. So there's your points. They are right now. After. After 30. After with one race remaining. In the, of, of the season. Jasmine Acosta. Has a 151 point lead on Jeremy Stegall. So basically it may be all but wrapped up. For Jasmine here in the championship. Let's here it depends on what happens at Homestead. Cody Lum is third in the points. Chase Theo Stegall, Cameron Gilson, Keith Batson, Sam Young, Deion Scott, Peachy London, and Dalton Day, the top ten. Then comes Zed Weinstein in eleventh. Trent Dunham twelfth. <coughs> and Cole Daly right now tenth place in the or twentieth place in the points chase. And down the Dale Keslowski in thirty seventh. Yeah. Next race on the tour, the last race of the season, the, the Ford Eco Boost 400. Don't miss it.